Now, the next factor to consider is the price of relative, uh, relative good or relative goods. Now, in this, we want to introduce something which is known as substitutes, like tea and coffee. If price of tea will increase, people will shift to coffee. So the demand, not quantity demanded, because nothing is happening to the price of coffee. So the demand of coffee will increase, right? So when tea becomes expensive, people shift to coffee, the demand of coffee increases. So you can say that when price of tea increases, for the coffee market, I am going to see a rightward shift in the demand of coffee. Demand curve of coffee will shift to the right. So when price of tea increases, the quantity of coffee will increase. So the demand of coffee will increase. It will shift to the right. Similarly, when price of tea will decrease, people will shift towards tea. Even coffee drinkers will shift towards tea. So the demand of coffee will decrease, right? So in the coffee market again, you will see that coffee demand curve will shift backward. Okay. For example, pizza and hamburgers. When price of pizza increases, people will shift towards hamburger. This is going to increase the demand of hamburger and the demand curve of hamburger is going to shift to the right. Coke and Pepsi, laptop and desktop, compact disc and music downloads, these are all substitutes. The other kind of goods are called complement goods. Complement goods are those goods which are used together like pen and ink. So when price of ink increases you know because ink has become expensive and ink is used in pen people will demand less of pen also the demand of pen will also decrease so basically what is going to happen is that in the pen market e pen price of pen quantity of pen it is going to shift inwards so when price of ink is going to increase, people will demand less of pen also. So the pen's demand curve is going to shift backward. Same is the example with computer and software. If price of computer increases, people will buy less computer. But software is used inside computer only, right? So people will buy less software also. So software demand will also shift to the left. College tuition and textbook, bagel and cream cheese, eggs and bacon, etc. The next is taste and preferences. Say all of a sudden there is this, um, you know, this um, emergence where people want to start consuming health products, right? Healthy products. So if people want to start consuming healthy products, there is automatically a shift towards health conscious products. So that's going to automatically increase the demand of the healthy products. Like maybe let's say uh, spinach um, juice. The demand of spinach juice is increasing because people are becoming diet conscious. During COVID-19, the demand of coconuts, coconut water has increased. It has got nothing to do with price and quantity of coconut water. It's just that you know, people are going, growing their taste and preferences towards coconut water. So anything that causes a shift in the taste towards a good increases the demand for the good. Like, you know, some diet, like increase, causing increase in demand of eggs. Therefore, you know, demand curve of eggs shifting to the right. Now, the next thing is expectations. A lot of times people behave depending on the expectations. For example, if I am expecting that my income is going to increase in the future, maybe I will receive a bonus this, this year, 
I am automatically going to go ahead and increase the demand of the products. It hasn't increased. My income hasn't increased. Just on the basis of expectations that, you know, maybe my income will increase, I will demand more products. Similarly, uh, let's say that if there is this, um, you know, era where uh, we are thinking that the country is in a depression, right? And the country is not doing bad, good. And, you know, people think that they're going to lose their jobs. There is going to be unemployment. Maybe people will start reducing their demand and, you know, start saving money. So the demand will decrease. So all these cases uh, are the examples where expectations also play a role in changing the demand of people. So let's summarize. A price is always going to lead to movement along the demand curve. Number of buyers, income, price of related goods, air taste, expectations, all of these are going to lead to shift of the demand curve. Income in itself depends on whether the good is a normal good or an inferior good. Price of relative related goods depends on whether it is a substitute good or a complement good. Okay, let's take one example. Draw a demand curve for music downloads. So price, quantity, demand of music downloads. What is going to happen in each of these scenarios? The price of iPod falls. Now, when the price of iPod is going to fall, what is going to happen? iPod and music downloads are complement goods. So, when the price of iPod is going to fall, then people will demand more iPods. People will also, therefore, do more music downloads. So, this means that the demand of music download will also increase. So, the demand curve of music download will shift to the right. Nothing changed for music download. Its price and quantity remained the same. But people start demanding more of music downloads. So a fall in price of iPod shifts the demand curve of music download to the right. Right. Let's take the next example. The price of music downloads fall. So suppose currently I'm at this point, point A. And now it is saying that the price of music download in itself is falling. So you're going to new point, point B. So this is going to go ahead and lead to a movement along the demand curve. You will just move from a point with higher price to a point with lower price. So you move down along the demand curve with lower price and higher quantity. Let's take the next example. The price of compact disc falls. Now, compact disc can be used to listen to music. So because compact disc and music downloads are substitutes, when the price of compact disc falls, CDs, people will demand more CDs. They will not do music downloads. So the demand of music downloads will decrease. So fall in price of CDs will shift the demand for music downloads to the left. It will reduce the demand of music downloads. Thank you.